please make sure to like and subscribe. Girl, when you done taking this bath, baby, you're going to need a, a damn, I don't know, a bodyguard. And I, yeah, because they're going to be chasing you. Welcome to Three Hoodoo Sisters. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to do a love bath, a come to me bath. And you're going to make this bath very powerful because you're going to use the super moon. Okay? And we haven't had a moon this large since I think they were saying 1948. And it's going to be really important to let this bath sit outside if you've been having issues with attracting men or attract attracting the opposite sex whatever it is this bath is going to help you out a lot I highly recommend that you do a regular cleansing bath before you take this bath because if you don't that's like being really dirty and stinky and kind of taking perfume and spraying it on you, but you still stink. Also up to you to filter men out. Just because a man is approaching you and you took a powerful bath does not mean that you should just accept them. So the main ingredient is roses. I actually bought these um, and I dried them out. It's perfectly fine if you want to use fresh rose petals, but I prefer to dry these out all right so dried rose petals or fresh rose petals um you have cinnamon sugar which okay i'm gonna be honest if you can use honey i would most definitely use honey not fake honey but actual real honey i would most definitely go and buy honey i prefer to use honey with this bath it just makes a man find you sweeter then you have basil, which I would actually use fresh basil in this spell, but today we're just going to use household items that are kind of already around. So basil, cinnamon. So if you're going to use honey, make sure to bring cinnamon, okay? Because cinnamon heats up, but not in that type of, oh my God, I just swallowed a, um, a jalapeno. It's not that type of hot and here is our love oil um, from three who a lot of people try to sell you it's the one ounce bottle so you'll need some type of love oil which this is ours I know some people are going to laugh and like what the fuck catnip yeah believe it or not catnip I mean you want to be irresistible don't you have have you ever seen a cat come around catnip they act like they're losing their fucking minds <laughs> like cats and catnip is like giving crack to a crackhead like it's it's pretty addictive okay so now you have boiling water of course and what we're going to do is turn it off so it's off and we're going to take our roses put them in here now we're not going to boil our roses because we don't want to take the essence of the roses out also another thing that does matter is what color rose you use these roses were actually like a pinkish red and of course as they dried out they became darker but they're actually more so a pinkish red of course the more darker the color the more intense if you want more of a lighter type of attraction spell i would highly recommend you use pink which would of course fall more into the category of love and you're going to pick a top <laughs> and this top doesn't fit i don't know where i put the other top but we're going to let it steam for about a good hour a good hour to get the essence out okay all right guys so we're gonna take the top off 
So you can see we've taken the essence of the actual roses. All right, so what we're going to do now is take out the actual rose petals, okay? So take one each rose petal out and throw it away. So as you can see, I've, um, I've squeezed out whatever was left into here. And you should, yours should have a reddish tint to it. I don't think you got, yeah, like a reddish tint. So what I'm gonna do is apply the rest of the ingredients. Guys, a tablespoon of cinnamon. All right. Also, we're going to add a tablespoon of basil. All right. We're going to put some sugar, but, but of course, guys, remember I told you honey is much better. Alrighty then, and some catnip. Alrighty. And of course, you're going to mix it up. I have to it's over here. Mix it up. And while you're mixing it, think about wanting to be more attractive, wanting to attract the opposite sex, wanting to spice up your love life or your current love life, of course. And we want that to sit for another hour because just so you guys know, it's still kind of hot. So you want to let the herb like steam up for like another hour hour okay isn't it beautiful it's like a bloody red i love it um this bath should really enhance your attraction it should enhance your love life it should enhance just you having a more um social life don't stay home if you're a homebody this bath is not for you when you're taking okay so now the bath is actually done. It's steaming. Um, and just look. It should smell really, really good. It should smell like something you would really want to drink. A really nice aroma. Very pleasant. And um, type of tea. So once it cools down, what you're going to do is take your oil. Okay. And you're just going to pour it in here. One, two, three, three drops after it cools down. So just make sure to take that, okay? And basically, how many days do you need to take this bath? It's going to have to be taken for, I like to get everything. So um, I would make enough to last seven days. That's just me because I'm trying to get all of it. But as you keep taking this bath, you should start seeing more men staring at you. You should start getting a little bit more attention than you usually do. Overnight with the super moon, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to say is shit. It's going to get really interesting. Um, so guys, let me know if you like it. And of course, we're selling the love oil. If you want to add that on to your special brew, your sexy, your attraction brew. And again, guys, conjure on. 